It's unusual for me to be at home on a Monday, but I was this day. I was in the back of the house when I heard the doorbell ring. My dog went running and barking to the front of the house like she always does when someone is at the door. I figured it was just a delivery person who would be gone before I could even make it to the front of the house. Or maybe it would be someone selling water softeners or solar panels or maybe Jehovah's Witnesses who want to chat. Either way, I didn't plan on answering the door and figured I would just go check the porch later when I was good and ready. Some time elapsed and my dog was still growling and barking. This is unusual for a delivery, so I was curious who was still hanging around the front of my house. So I picked up my iPhone and brought up my surveillance cameras. That's my car on the left, but whose car is that on the right? I figure someone just has the wrong address. And oh look, here comes someone, cell phone in hand, piece of paper in the other. Yeah, he's got the wrong address. He's trying to figure out where it is that he is supposed to go. Closing up his car, he is out of here. No, no, maybe not. Yeah, it looks like he's going to come back around to the front door for something. You know, it's interesting. During this time, my doorbell doesn't ring again. There's no knocking going on. My dog's still barking. Oh, okay, yeah, he's out of here. No, no, he just went around to the side of my house for something. Hey, did he have something in his hand? Yeah, he's putting something in the back of his car. Oh, back to the front door again. No, no, he's not going to the front door this time. Now he's just looking in my windows. And off he goes around the side again. Oh yeah, he's taking my stuff. So I'm in the back of the house right now, realizing that I'm getting ripped off. And uh, I run out to the front of the house at this time. He's getting in his car with a trunk load of my stuff and starts backing down my driveway. About this time I'm at the front of the house and I start yelling at him to stop. And he does, believe it or not. In fact, before I can say anything, he jumps out of the car tries to direct my attention back behind me, says he left me something. I tell him that I saw you taking stuff from me, and better put it back. He says, that stuff? Oh, I thought you were getting rid of that. And I said, no, do you see it out by the curb? Is it in my trash can? You put that stuff back and you get the heck out of here. So I expected him to unload the trunk, but he didn't. He got back in the car. I didn't know what he was going to pull out of the car, so uh, I backed out of the frame here, and I'm actually standing behind my own car. I wanted something between us, because who knows if this guy was armed or what have you. He gets out looking fairly defensive, and uh, yeah, sure enough, he starts unloading the trunk of his car and putting my stuff back. You know, he does this in a pretty good hurry, too. Uh, I give him the option of getting the stuff out of his car, putting it back, and getting the heck out of here. You know, I bet that sounded a lot better to him than stay where you are, I'm calling the police. It's about this time I notice his ID hanging from his shirt. It's from the U.S. Postal Service. This is some kind of a delivery guy. If you look closely in his passenger seat, you can see a big box. I hope that's a package he's delivering and not something he picked up from someone else's house. So there he goes, backing out of my driveway in his U.S. Postal Service delivery vehicle. Do you think the Postal Service condones this type of activity, especially in one of their vehicles and on the clock? <laughs> well, it is the federal government, after all. <laughs> Why shouldn't Uncle Sam help himself to even more of what's mine?